Hello and welcome. On this episode of Abby Normal Garage, we... Hey, hey, how you doing? Get down, get down. Good girl. We will be working on our 1975 Wheel Horse C160. So what's going on with this tractor is, it runs like it's running out of gas all the time, even though it's got a full tank. And also, it needs a new ammeter. So let's dive right in. What we're going to do is disconnect the fuel line at the fuel pump and then we'll free flow it to make sure that the gas gravity freeds freely from the tank. For those of you that don't know, this is a Kohler K series, K341. Probably one of the. Ooh, damn. Ooh. Okay, well that fuel line's trashed. We'll probably just replace that. That probably has a lot to do with the heat around the muffler. All right, so I got a container here. We're gonna go ahead and Make sure it flows freely in this container. No, well, I would say not. Make sure the fuel valves are open. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say there's your problem. Okay, well that's, obviously we have a blockage in our fuel line somewhere. Give this just a little shot of air and see what happens. See if it's maybe something that I can... There we go. Now it's flowing good. Okay, let's see if we can stop it now. Look at that. The fuel valve even works. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, heck, that ain't nothing. I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and replace this hose and uh, put this back together. And then we'll go ahead and change that amp meter. All right, so that hose runs around under the shroud to this uh, fuel filter. Let's get, a, let's get our roll of hose. We'll cut us a new piece. And we'll be right back. Here we are sizing up the new piece of hose. I had a work call come in while I went to go get the spool. While he was on the phone, I went ahead and cleaned the fuel filter. So it's good to go. Cut this real quick. Okay, that's done. Yeah, we're going to have to take those clamps off to get this new hose in there. Let's see here. There we go. Use a screwdriver to spread our clamp apart like so. Okay, let's do the same thing. We'll spread this clip apart. Let's see. 
I gotta do it the other way. Now I did take the ignition coil off for clearance. This is bigger in diameter, gonna loosen the clamp up a little bit more. Jeez, that line looks terrible. That other line looks pretty cracked. I'm going ahead and change that too. Working on. Oh yeah, that line's got cracks and all sorts of stuff in it. Let's go ahead and change that too while we're here. Ain't no problem. You know, funny story. I went and bought a new diaphragm for this fuel pump in case it had to be rebuilt. We still might have to do that, but I don't think so. Okay. That's done. And let's, uh, We'll go ahead and get this side off. Same story as the other side. Came off in pieces. is Jesus it's a good thing we're changing it okay that's all let's get our screwdriver we'll tighten that one Okay, well that's done. I'm gonna pump the tank and then run the gas through a strainer and make sure there's a couple big chunks. I don't know if they'll show up on the camera, but we'll give it a shot. Kind of sweeping the bottom with the siphon, trying to get any of the large particles that, ooh, there's a big one. That's quite a bit of stuff. So, yeah. Any one of those could have been plugging up that fuel line. All right. I went ahead and disconnected the battery already. So all we gotta do is pull out these two 3 8 bolts. This shouldn't take us but a few minutes. Okay. This should pull right out. Okay, so the wires with electrical tape go to the top terminals and the wire without electrical tape goes to the bottom terminal. Let's go ahead and, oh, look at that. It's 3 h too. I'm willing to bet you the only thing wrong with this gauge 
is one of these plastic isolators has failed. I'm willing to bet you this is the original gauge. Maybe not. I might be. I might be wrong. Hopefully, I am wrong, and we can put it back in. But every time you got the ammeter hooked up, it's blowing a fuse. Oh my god! Man, they made that hole just big enough, didn't they? I went ahead and converted the connectors to ring terminals off camera. Get more wire that way. I'm going to go ahead and assume that the red is hot and the green is the load side. Go ahead and hook this up. How'd I guess? Okay. That's done. Alright, now we're plugged back in there. Good. Let's go ahead and put our, our screw back in. Nice. Okay, we'll get these all tightened up. We'll hook the battery back up. Interesting, you know, interesting feature about these older C-Series wheel horses is the back flops up and you got a nice little storage compartment in the rear. All right, let's give this one a try. Listen to that beautiful Kohler 16 horse with only 475 hours on it. temperature then we'll try to adjust the carburetor but idle's great though much better. We interrupt your regularly scheduled broadcast to bring you the story of this tractor. So I gave AI all of the details and it came up with, in 1975, a 12 year old dreamer stepped into a Covington, Virginia dealership armed with determination and a vision. My father, at that tender age, took a loan from his dad to purchase a 1975 wheel horse C-160 8-speed equipped with a 36-inch rear discharge deck. It wasn't just a tractor, it was a dream in the making. With earnings from his lawn care business, my father repaid the loan and more. The C-160 quickly became the heartbeat of their home and neighborhood, a testament to a young boy's tenacity. 
Later, it journeyed to my grandfather's camp, gracefully navigating the hills and gardens. In 1995, a flooded garage posed a challenge resulting in a cracked transmission, yet my father, now seasoned in his craft, stepped in and replaced it. Fast forward to 2003, and the C-160 with thousands of hours and stories etched into its frame underwent an engine rebuild. Today it stands tall not just as a tractor, but as a symbol of a 12-year-old's dream that blossomed into a family legacy. It's more than a machine. It is a living connection to the spirit of a young entrepreneur who, with determination, turned a loan into a lifetime of memories. This is the story of the 1975 Wheelhorse C-160 8-speed, a testament to dreams realized and a legacy that continues to grow. We now return you to your regularly scheduled broadcast. You know, despite all the efforts of modern engine manufacturers, you just can't beat an old K-Series. <laughs> well, I think we've saved another piece of history for at least today, anyway. If you like the video, like it, share it with your wheel horse friends, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you on the next episode of Abbey Normal Garage.